Yeah, I don't break my head though. I don't like that she says that because I don't believe I used to speak broken English at that age. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of African Lady and a Baby. It's me again, Stephanie Oki. Guys, African Lady and a Baby is one year old and I cannot even believe how far I've come. Like this thing just started as a very small vision that I was hoping would grow and i can't believe it's actually growing and we're already one year into this so i am so grateful and i'm so thankful for how far i've come thank you to anybody who's been with me from the beginning and thank you so much for joining me and thank you for even watching me because you watching this means you believe in me and you believe in what i have to say or give to the world so thank you so much if you're just joining me for the first time welcome i really hope you subscribe to my channel and if you're back again we already know who's best <laughs> so yeah i decided to do a q and a because when I started African Lady and a Baby, I don't think anybody really knew me or knew who I was or what I had to offer. And, you know, I feel like I didn't even do a proper introduction. I mean, I do try to do introductions here and there as, you know, the channel goes on. But I feel like I haven't really done anything that has attended to people's questions directly. And so I just decided to do a Q&A for you guys to you know so you guys can get to know me a little bit more and so i asked some of my friends on instagram i mean i say my friends it doesn't mean i know them personally these are people that want to know a bit more about me um if there were any questions that they had for me and yes i did get a few questions and i was even surprised that some people did ask questions so thank you to the few people who asked questions and today i'm going to be answering your question so the first question is what's a hobby i did before i had my baby before i became a mother all right um this is a very interesting question because i feel like i had lots of hobbies i've always had so many hobbies so there's not one thing i can point to and say this is my actual hobby because i really do enjoy a range of different things but a few of the things i've enjoyed doing or i used to enjoy doing before i became a mother was actually taking walks like walking virtually everywhere i had to go to i really enjoyed walking and walking fast like really fast like it was like i had this thing within me to just outpace myself every time and so while other people like to go jogging i like to walk and take walks in parks and everything like that but like it's been so much harder since i had a baby so since i had a few hobbies i'm going to name a few more like i also really enjoyed um going on like adventurous trips so i would I really enjoyed road trips and this is not here in the US though because I've only been on road trips a couple of times. I mean back in Nigeria, I really did enjoy road trips traveling from like Lagos to my village in Patani and I would be the one to drive because I just really like driving. <laughs> I mean, I, I call myself like a taxi driver, like I really can drive like a lot. So yeah, I really enjoyed driving like on road trips and traveling and you know i used to just love it when people would see some young lady on the steering wheel or, like on a traveling journey trust me in nigeria it's not very common to see a lady driving from like lagos to delta or by elsa it's really not common so people would be like hey on the road to me whenever they saw me driving i always had my dad by my side of course so I really loved traveling with my dad before, um, before I had my baby. And uh, yeah, I think that's one of the major things. I miss my dad. I miss traveling with him. I miss, um, yeah, I think that's, those are one of the two major things. So I think I'm just going to stop there. <laughs> There's no point to go on for too long. So on to my next question. How do I grow my hair? It's interesting someone would ask me because I've, I've been feeling lately like my hair is just not at its best my hair used to be way better than this but now i have like these patches in front and stuff but i think it's even filling up again because when i had my baby my hair really fell off 
especially in front but like it's filling up again but how do i grow my hair i need to answer that question as honestly as possible i do not have any special recipe i am someone who keeps trying new things i am very minimalist in nature with the way i buy things so i'm not the type of person who is a product junkie when i buy something i must use it to the end before i buy something else i don't buy new things when i haven't finished using the one i have unless there's some really specific need for it so i'm not a product junkie i'm not someone who will come and tell you oh Cantu did this for me or Shea moisture did that for me i feel like hair is something that is genetic and i feel like there is nothing special you can do to your hair to make it grow i just feel there is stuff you can do to your hair to prevent your hair from breaking but to actually make it like grow faster i just don't know why but i don't believe i feel like yes you can use certain like oils that will help to stimulate growth but the pace of growth is not going to be like outrageously different for anybody it just depends on your genes and i think with my hair i do have some good genes because my dad has quite a bit of nice hair in his family and my mom well <laughs> she has thick hair but like her hair doesn't grow particularly fast and i think i have my father's hair more than i have my mother's hair i know that every child inherits both parents hair so but i think my hair leans more towards my father's hair than my mother's hair so it's a completely genetic thing if you want to know what i'm using right now on my hair i'm not trying to promote anyone but at the moment i just wash my hair with black soap african black soap and that's because i had this problem with my hair always itching and um i couldn't find any shampoo to help i used sheer moisture it did not help i used different types of sheer moisture it didn't help i used Cantu. it <laughs> When I use Cantu, it's like I'm running mad. Like literally when I use Cantu shampoo, my hair scratches so bad, <laughs> so bad. So I stopped using the Cantu shampoo. That is one product that I didn't even finish. It's still there. And I'm like, I try to use it, but like whenever I use it, my hair really, it really itches. And the only thing I found that helped the itching was African black soap. I just melt it in hot water until it's you know melted and then use it as a shampoo and make sure that i moisturize my hair properly because african black soap can be a bit dry into the hair so afterwards i do use sheer moisture coconut i think it's a coconut milk something conditioner for my hair i really like the smell and it really does give my hair some moisture and then i oil my scalp with a combination of oil that i made myself and the combination contains jamaican black castor oil sheer nut oil vitamin e coconut oil grapeseed oil what else i think that's it yeah that's what the combination contains <laughs> So I just mix that up myself and that's what I use on my scalp. And then I usually use um, virtually the same thing, but we share butter this time as a combination that I made myself as well. I use that for my hair as well. And then I use, um, I think it's called Carol's Daughter Moisturizer for like my hair as well. So I usually will go in first to the scalp with the oil. And then I use the Carol's Daughter Moisturizer for the hair. And then I finish it up with my Shea Butter Mixture myself. It's like my oil to just lock it in. like So almost like the lock method. So the leave-in, the oil, and the cream in my own order. I don't really follow any particular order. And that's just how I keep my hair moisturized. I really do not, mo I do not manipulate my hair a lot as well. I try to avoid manipulating my hair. I don't even try. I just, I can't. <laughs> I don't go out much so i do my hair myself i do all these easy styles i feel like these easy styles are also great on the hair because it prevents hair breakage gosh it feels like i'm talking about hair a lot but anyway i love my hair so yeah it, they prevent hair breakage so it's good to just do something easy manipulate your hair less less braids less everything trust me all these things they call protective hairstyles are really not protective anything that is tugging on your hair is not protecting your hair it's pulling your hair to a, a bad point so the best way to protect your hair is just to keep it wrapped up and you know just sleep with a silk silk sleep with a silk scarf right next question does denver enjoy reading what's his favorite book right 
Denver does not enjoy reading. I'm not going to lie to you guys and be like, oh, Denver loves to read. He sits quietly when I read to him. No, when I read to him, he's constantly trying to tear the book or trying to, I mean, it's board books, but he's constantly pulling it with me. I feel like it's the stage he's at. He's not old enough to really like understand so he just wants to play with the book he does love the pictures so like sometimes i draw his attention to the pictures and he literally is just like ah you know so he loves the pictures he loves to like you know touch them sometimes i point out colors to him i'm like what color is this what color is that if i see three pigs or three um ducks i'm like show me the pigs and he does point to the pigs now show me the ducks and he points to the ducks so he knows you know he knows things like that about his favorite books uh, book i don't think he has a favorite book yet he really isn't old enough to know which book is his favorite but i do have the, the favorite books i like to read actually i love all his books i just love books so i, I read everything to him at every point in time and so yeah that's how it is with denver and books he's not really choosy yet and he just isn't particularly quiet when i'm reading to him yet so yeah the next question is is there a story behind the scar on my forehead yeah so if you didn't know i had a scar let me show you guys there's a scar on my forehead and someone noticed. <laughs> well, the scar for me is my identity. I absolutely love the scar on my forehead and I'll tell you guys how I got it. And I really do like this question. That's why I saved it for the last. It's really a great question. When I was about one or two years old and I remember, I don't know, I think I have really good memory of my childhood. I remember what happened. I think I was about two years old or maybe, yeah, I think I was about two. And I went playing at this tap outside my house, a tap, a faucet. I don't know what you guys call it, a tap. <laughs> Anyways, there was this tap outside with water and a bucket. And back in the days, I was born in the late 80s, right? And then we had metal buckets that had like really sharp edges. Like they had like like the two there's a it's like a bucket then there's a handle right and the handle had to be hooked to two sides of the bucket so those things that the handle were where handle was hooked to was like sharp round bits metal and that's what we used back back then and this you know they were fetching water i went there i was playing with water and I think this is how I remember my mind worked at the time. I felt like the bucket was full and I felt like I could lift it. And so I tried to lift it, but the ground was slippery and I slipped. And as I slipped, I hit my head on that sharp bit. And that is how I got the cut. <laughs> and my mom always says, I screamed and shouted, yay, I don't break my head though. I don't like that she says that because I don't believe I used to speak broken English at that age. So I know that my mom is just trying to make me, you know, feel like I was a local child, but I wasn't. <laughs> but yeah, that's how I got the wound on my forehead. It bothered my mom so much that I have had a scar on my forehead and she would always tell me, oh, when you grow older, try to do some type of surgery to like remove it. It's not going to be a big deal. They're just going to cut it and stitch it again and this and that. But I actually refused because I got to love it and it's a part of me and it's just my identity. It's me. I love it. It's really my identity. And, you know, if anybody's going to be drawing a picture of me, they're probably going to have to put that little scar on my forehead. I love it. <laughs> so that's how I got the scar on my forehead, guys. Thank you guys for taking the time to ask me questions. I really do appreciate your questions. And I hope that this has helped you to get to know me a little bit more. At least the few people who ask questions have gotten to know a little bit more about me than they did before. Um, yeah, on that note, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. It really helps me grow and it will help African Lady and a Baby grow as well. You're a part of my growth. I really need your help here. So don't forget to subscribe. Give this, give this video a thumbs up. 
and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.